Okay, today we're going to show you how to gain access to inside the driver's door. And it sort of applies to all the doors on the car, but this uh, the car we're dealing with today is a 2014 Kia Forte. Uh, they're all pretty much the same. So 14 and up this should apply to, as 13 was a different body style. In this case, we have a bad uh, power window switch. Actually, the rocker broke on the one uh, switch in there, so we're going to replace that. And this is, uh, the, switch is it, the switch itself is this whole master switch right in here. And to gain access to this, some cars you can do it with panels and stuff like that. In this car, you're going to have to remove the entire door panel from all the way around here, like that. It's actually a very simple procedure. Uh, minimal amount of tools that are going to be required for this. We have, starting with the non-marring pry bar, this will allow you to, you can do it with a screwdriver, but you run the risk of scratching the paint. But uh, this will allow you to pop the door panel clips off. This is to gain access to the door handle trim, uh, and then the cordless, the uh, cordless, and the uh, Phillips head over here for that. That's our switch. We got a used one for this vehicle, but this would apply if you have to get into the window regulator, the door lock actuator, anything that uh, again requires access to the door panel. So we'll go ahead and start this, and I'll show you. We've already cleared the door panel out of anything down in here, CDs or anything else like that, because this again will be coming off. So we're going to go ahead and get this installation going. We're going to start with taking off this piece of trim that sits right here behind the door handle itself. This has to come off. Very simple. Again, just be careful with it. Don't, don't break anything. You're going to pop it. You're going to open the actual door handle to get it out of your way and remove this piece of trim. Okay. Once you do that, in here you're going to see a Phillips head screw that has to come off right there. So we'll remove that one first. We'll set the parts that come off on the floor of our car and we'll simply use the cordless to get that out that goes on the floor of the car now we're going to take the non marring tool this comes in a set they're really cheap to buy it's a good thing to have if you do any kind of interior work because again it won't scratch the paint it's just simply a hard plastic with double sided pieces on it we're going to start down here on the lower left corner of this particular door right in this seam this is where the plastic door panel meets the body right here so you're going to gain a little bit of access to it, kind of wiggle the tool underneath there, and you're going to begin popping these clips off, which run around the perimeter of this. You can kind of hear them popping off. It sounds like they're breaking, but they're not. And you're going to go underneath and up towards the front of the vehicle, and around there, and that's it. The door panel is now loose. We're going to put the tool back up, and then when you remove this door panel, you're just very simply going to grab it, lift it straight up, out of the window channel and turn it around. Now, if you look over here, you'll see inside the door panel, you'll see the door lock cables, okay? You can see the window motor right here, the window lift motor, the speakers over here, wire harness. The part we're looking for is actually a little bit lower, a little bit harder to see, but it is down in here. So to get a little bit closer to this, we're gonna have to remove the one harness right here, because this is stretched tight right now. This is what's limiting us from maneuvering this door panel the way we want. So we're gonna go ahead and get in here, and we're gonna squeeze this, and you simply squeeze the tab on here, and wiggle the switch right out of there. The hardest thing is just getting your hand back in there and then being able to do it the right way to get that thing out with that cord stretched tight. So there it is, that's disconnected. Now you don't really need to disconnect anything else because from that point you can kind of pivot this around whichever way you want once that wire is disconnected. So I'm going to actually turn it around this way and right here is the actual switch. This is the door panel switch. There are four screws on this that have to come off. Uh, by the way, if you want, you can actually remove this second one. This is for, uh, I believe this is for the door lock on this vehicle but you can actually get this out of your way if you choose to. I'm going to leave it on there because this is a pretty quick installation. So there's four screws. There's two on this end. They're silver Phillips head screws. So we're going to go in here. We got one. Grab that in a second. Now that one's a little bit in there. The angle of it's a little bit tough, so I'm going to switch to a screwdriver. I'm going to pull that one out. And 
again, we're going to throw those on the floor of the car. There's not a whole lot of things are going to come out of here that you're going to have to worry about getting the parts mixed up or anything like that. And then over here, we're going to take this one off that's next to the where the switches go, or where this uh, wire harness plugs in. Unscrew that one. that one fell down a little notch there making it a little more more of a nuisance and then you got the fourth one back here at the corner of where the uh, white part for the plastic for the uh, wire connector is and you're gonna screw that one out and that one is completely loose that will allow this switch to come right out at this point so we're going to set the door panel down. What I would recommend is that you put a towel down the ground when you set the door panel here because it does tend to slide around a little bit and you can scratch up the plastic on the door panel where it touches the ground down there. But uh, this is the old switch we have. And again, you can. this all applies to whatever piece you need to work on inside the door. In this case, we're going to do the switch. The problem we had in this case was that the driver door, the piece of plastic broke and the spring no longer returns the switch. So instead of these things like the left rear, right rear, the front passenger, front driver goes down, stays down. So your window go, drops every time and you have to physically move it back each time. I found out what it is in this case, the actual little arm that's up inside of here broke. And unfortunately these switch, these switch covers are different so I couldn't just swap a switch cover out. So I bought a new switch and I'm actually gonna take the, the actual button portion off the switch that I bought and flip it over to this because this has a good, nice action. Everything else works great. I think it actually works better than the used one I bought. So I'm just concerned with switching this piece over. But again, anything in here that you see, you're gonna have access to for this. We're gonna stop right there for the time being. The, to finish this project, you would reverse it. You would basically just take the switch, drop the new switch right into here, okay? Put the four screws back on, put the wire harness back on to right there, connect it spin the door panel around and then you're going to take the door panel drop it up here in the track let it, let it settle in here and then lay it down line these clips on the back side of the door have to be lined up with these holes all here that's what we were popping out before so you're going to line them up and you're just going to once the door panels back over these holes bang give them a good shot like that and these white plastic clips will snap back in place and hold the door panel and then you will put the one screw back in uh, through where the where the actual door handle was and then the plastic piece behind the door handle and you're done This whole job is maybe 15 minutes uh, For the switch itself longer if you're gonna do the regulator or anything like that That's a different story, but at least this tells you how to get access to this and I hope that did good for you and good luck with any of your endeavors